Well, the question is this. Why were they headed to Bethlehem? What was the reason they had to make this hazardous journey? And the answer is that it all happened because of a decree by the Roman emperor at the time, Caesar Augustus. Now, the Romans were in control of Israel during this period of time in history. And Augustus had ordered a census be taken throughout the entire Roman Empire. And this was largely for taxation purposes. And so it says in Luke chapter 2, verses 1 to 3, In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to his town to register. Now, this meant for Mary and Joseph, since they were both original from Bethlehem, having moved to Nazareth, now they had to return to Bethlehem to fulfill the obligations of this census. And I can imagine that Mary must have groaned at the thought of having to make this trip at this point in time because it was so exceptionally difficult for her. And this was all because of some politician's decision back in Rome. And I wonder, perhaps as Mary traveled to Bethlehem, whether she was thinking, are we pawns in someone else's game? In other words, here their lives were totally uprooted because this guy in Rome says, you got to go and be counted in your home town. Well, on the other hand, I want to suggest to you this morning that this trip was absolutely necessary if Mary was to fulfill the ancient prophecy that the Messiah would be born in the city of David, which is Bethlehem. And that meant she had to make this trip. The baby Jesus could never have been born in Nazareth. He, she and Joseph had to make this trip so that the Messiah could be born as Micah the prophet had said in the Old Testament. But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. <clears throat> and so now they were making this trip, not by any decision of their own, but by that of the most important person in the world at that time, Caesar Augustus. And to me, it's amazing the fact that God used a pagan emperor to fulfill his prophecy. And what you see here is God controlling circumstances to make the preordained plan happen as he intended. Proverbs 21 verse 1 says, The Lord controls the mind of a king as easily as he directs the course of a stream. You see the control that we he had here. He was making this census happen through Caesar Augustus. So that baby could be born not in Nazareth, but in Bethlehem. And I'm sure Mary must have been amazed to think how God had used Augustus to get them there to Bethlehem to fulfill that prophecy. 